La metti. Ti chiami ti fa un più un un. E mettiamo tutto a posto. Sti fissaria. I must escape from New York. Hello, Snake Pliskin. Actually, I haven't escaped from New York City yet. Welcome to the Bronx, New York. Hello, everybody. I am Tampa J, and I have traveled from Midtown Manhattan, took a subway, and landed here at Gun Hill Road in the Bronx only because I wanted to see a filming location. I'm about to show you a filming location. You cannot refuse. Now here's a shot of my feet, but before I pan up to the filming location, I want to set this up properly. Louis Italian American restaurant. The restaurant scene from Francis Ford Coppola's The Godfather. 3531 White Plains Road, the Bronx, New York. And there she is. Now this is so cool to be standing here because I'm a big fan of this movie. Hard to believe that in 1972 that Al Pacino walked right into those doors and they filmed the entire scene inside the building. I'm kind of disappointed that we cannot go inside there, but I thought it would be cool just to show the exterior of the building. Not only was the scene filmed inside this building one of the most pivotal scenes, it was one of the most dramatic scenes of course, as we know, Michael Corleone met with Salazo and Officer McCluskey and shot them both. Just a coincidence, but the train track above me, the station, is called Gun Hill Road. When Michael goes to shoot Salazo and McCluskey in the scene, you can hear the train passing by outside. And of course, it would be this train and here comes the train right now. Here's a screenshot from the restaurant from the movie. It's hard to tell because it's so dark in the car is sitting there in the street but you can definitely tell by the window structure the door a little off center to the left of the building the two windows on each side the, that frames up pretty well and also you have this door over to the right and up in that third window on the right with the light on you can briefly see a little bit of the ladder there now here it is the ladder right there in that window and the frame of the doors obviously it's changed a lot in the last 40 something years but that door there you can clearly see in the shadows you can see the frame in the movie of course the car's not sitting there but that's where they would have walked into the restaurant also in the screenshot notice in between the window on the right side and that door you see this pole figure and the light above that pole a couple feet up that is still here today here's that pole and there's that light it's in the same spot like i said before the actual scene was filmed inside this building and the reason i know is because i watched a youtube video of a news reporter interviewing the owner of the store on what i think was the 35th anniversary of the godfather now that news reporter was able to go inside and interview the store owner but in that video you actually see the gentleman lift up the carpet and see the floor and the tile that you see in the restaurant during that scene in the godfather also in that interview the news anchorman went to the back of the store to see the restroom obviously he was trying to see the box the wooden box that michael grabbed the gun from just before he went out and whacked those guys. But who would have thought one of the greatest scenes of one of the greatest movies of all time filmed right here in the Bronx and it's just sitting here abandoned. Okay, I'm really nerding out right now. 
Al Pacino stood right there. He walked right in and after he dropped the gun, he didn't drop the gun, he was instructed to drop the gun, but he threw the gun, but he ran out right here onto the sidewalk into the getaway car, which would have been right there. I'm doing this. I'm taking this. This is a piece from the filming location of The Godfather, and it is mine. Oh my. I wonder if that Bacardi has been sitting there since 1972. Because all these gate repair places left their mark, I figured it wouldn't harm anything if I did too. So I've made it back to Manhattan, West 31st Street and 7th Avenue. Turn around the other direction and we're facing Madison Square Garden and directly below Madison Square Garden is Penn Station. And that's where I just got off the train from the Bronx. This photograph here could be a story all on its own. What happened to you there, Bruce? Was it Batman or Dorothy or maybe even Toto that got you? Well guys, thanks for coming along with me again to my second trip to New York City. Well, second trip as far as a YouTuber. And that being said, if it was your first time here today, please come on back again. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and then hit the subscribe button and that notification bell because you never know where I'm gonna go. And again, my name is Tampa J. I'm a YouTuber, I'm from Tampa, Florida, and I love to make videos and I also love to travel. And one thing I love more than than anything in this world is movies and that's why I came all the way to New York City this weekend to capture filming locations. I did a filming location for the movie Ghostbusters 2 in my last video which it took me three days to film. It was one of the most exciting three days of my life because there I was so excited to see the locations for the first time with my own eyes and even more exciting that I got to record them and present them to you a lot like today with The Godfather. If you're a big fan of that movie, I hope you enjoyed seeing that filming location. It's time for me to leave New York City. I've really enjoyed my time here, but it's time for me to go back to my hotel and pack because tomorrow I'm leaving very early, catching a flight, going back to Tampa. I am on vacation from my regular job, so I have to go back to work on Monday, but I, I've got a lot of editing to do before I do that, I still haven't finished, but if you're watching this now, just know I still haven't finished editing the Ghostbusters video. This is all in the past, but anyways, that all being said, thank you for joining me. It means the world to me, to all my subscribers, to everyone new who's been with me from the beginning, thank you. I plan on coming back to New York City in the future. This is a hobby of mine. It is something I wish I could do more often, and that's why I always say that. And I, I think the greatest thing about this thing for me is it gives me a chance to go out and explore and discover things that I'm enthused and excited about and the fact that I get to take you with me just takes that excitement up to the next level and again I am I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart I've talked for what three minutes now it was a short video so I thought I'd go a little long with this conclude my trip to New York City and Again, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for always watching. Thank you for sticking with me. And if it was your first time here, I hope to see you next time. Please comment below and let me know if you liked the video. And I'll see you later. And I always end the video by saying something. And I, I can't remember what it is. Oh, even though this is the end of the video, it is not the end of the journey. It is not the last time I will be in New York City. Whether you see me down in Florida, out west in California, maybe overseas one day, this is not the end of the journey. It is only the end of the video. That is because there is much ahead, my friends. There is so much ahead. Thank you. See ya. Goodbye.